G'day and welcome to Fun with Canva. We are going to get stuck into working with custom frames, or I should say more so how to create a custom frame and use it in a Canva design. So let's get stuck straight into it. Just wanted to thank the people that have done this before me. I've learned a lot today and hopefully I have a result that will allow you guys to design and enjoy. So let's go over to elements for a start. And what we'll do is we'll just basically choose an element. So I'm working from an element perspective. We can use any sort of picture, um, such as a silhouette that can convert to black and white. But today I'm just going to use a shape. So I'm gonna use this curve shape here. So we'll add that in there. I'm just going to enlarge that. We'll put that to the center. All right, apologies for the noise in the background. It's sports here today and uh, activity around the house. So bear with me on that one. Then I'm going to grab a circle and I'm going to place a circle on the outside. And I'll also, while I'm doing that, I'll change that to black and I'll change that to black as well. So if we just duplicate that and we'll place a circle down here, for example, duplicate it again and we'll place a circle up here. All right, so we're going to place a frame or a border around that and you can make different border uh, widths and whatnot. So the border is gonna be white there and I'll add a border here and I'll make that say five all right, and I'll change that border to white and I'll place a border on this one and I'll change that to say 15 and I'll change that color to white. And what we're gonna do is I'll just duplicate this. I'm gonna plug this in here, change this down and put that in the center all right, there, and I will change the width of that border to five. All right, so that is our shape. So what we wanna do is we wanna, what I found best works based on a few other videos is we wanna download this and we'll download it as a PNG with a transparent background, okay? The other ways, People have had a few comments saying it doesn't quite work. So we'll download that as a PDF, sorry, a PNG, and I'll plug it into my folder, creating custom frame, and that's where it will stay for now. So what we need to do is open up a program called Converto, all right, Convertio. So once we've done that, we just upload our photo image into Convertio. Okay, just like that. We go convert to SVG and then we hit on or click on convert. That is uploading. Now what we want to do is that will that will download. So what we want to do is um, download our image. All right, that will download to our downloads. Look in the folder. And I'll just copy that. I'll bring this over to my folder. Paste it in there as the SVG, okay. Come over to PowerPoint. And what we wanna do is we want to, we wanna bring this into PowerPoint. So if we go insert picture, sorry, that was a previous one I did, from file, come over to create custom frames and we want to make sure that we pick up our SVG sorry not SVG 
um, yes, SVG, sorry. We want to insert, so that's the one we converted. So we want to insert that one. Okay, and then we want to come over to convert to shape. All right, so we can see that that's now converted to a shape. Then we want to come over to shape fill and choose a picture. So I'm just going to grab any picture, it doesn't matter. Um, so you, I'm going to create, pick this one here, circle. No, I won't pick that one. I'll pick a better one, snow. So I'm just going to pick this one here, there. Okay, insert that. All right, and you can see that that inserts into each of the various frame locations that we've created. <coughs> Now what we want to do is come over to here, file, go save as, and we want to save this down as a PDF. So we want to make sure that this is selected to PDF and we want to make sure that it is in the right folder. So we'll call it abstract. Okay. And we will save it down as a PDF. Okay. As that's saving down as a PDF, we want to come back to Canva and we'll create a new page here and we'll come over to uploads. In uploads, we want to upload the file, abstract, go open. All right, and that will upload into projects. Now when that's uploaded, we just want to click into projects and click on the file we uploaded. Select all that, for example, and just extend it out. Now what we can do is go over to elements and we can choose a photo, any photo, and we can place that into, into a frame. All right, now see how it's got the snow background there. If we click on that one and we go delete, it'll bring up delete image and delete frame. So if we delete image, it will have exactly the same background as what the Canva frames do. So this is just a temporary uh, image that you've put in there when you downloaded it. All right, so again, we can just upload that and we can delete and we can delete image. All right, so I'm just going to go through and insert an image, delete, just for the purposes of showing you that it does appear as the background. Okay, there, delete, delete image, delete. Actually, I won't delete this one. So basically what we'll do now is I'll just place those back in there. All right, because what we're going to do is we are going to create, similar to one of my previous ones, we're going to create like a puzzle frame. So for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use some rulers and place some rulers here. Okay. Place some rulers here and place some rulers here. So when I'm positioning pictures within or images in within frames, I like to use the rulers. So I'm just going to double click on that one and expand it out. And I guess what we want to do is we want to come to the outer edges of the furthest frame. Okay. So we want to make sure that our frame lines up there, there, and there, and then we hit done. We'll do the same for all of these. We'll just extend this out like that. Bring that over and bring that up like that. Okay, just checking that it lines up with everything. Then we'll come to the middle one and we'll go up there. We'll go out there to bring it down to the bottom. And then we'll come over here to bring it to that side, ensuring that it's right on the top there and on the bottom. Okay. We'll click there. We can do the same with this one. Bring it out to here. Bring it up to there. And 
bring it across. Okay, like that. And then we do the bottom one here. We bring it up like that. And we bring it back like that. Okay, just ensuring that it's on the out of there, the upper and the lower there. And then we go click outside. So you can see that basically all these frames are filled with the person. All right, and then we what we can do is go to text and add a heading. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to call it healthy. Change the font to white. Okay. Duplicate that. Line that up. Okay, like that. Duplicate the top one. All right, expand that out. So I just grab all those, reduce the font, and there you have it. Um, how we created a custom frame and sort of like a poster, advert, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you all learned something today. Appreciate your time watching this. And until next time, see you for now. Thank you.